afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for December 22nd, 2019, 3 p.m. Eastern. Just want to let everybody know that uh, um, the, those who out of country who have ordered liquid gold, we need you to send your name, full name, and your email to lifelight, one word, L-I-F-E-L-I-G-H-T 369 at protonmail.com. Lifelight 369 at protonmail.com. And uh, in the subject, put request liquid gold tracking number. So once we receive your email, we will then email you a FedEx tracking number so you have everything you need to track your delivery. And we will be mailing them out tomorrow, Monday, December 23rd. So uh, you need to, we definitely need you to send your full name and your email to lifelight369 at protonmail.com. That's L I F E L I G H T 369 at protonmail.com. Subject line put request liquid gold tracking number. And your product will be shipped out to you tomorrow via FedEx. Now, when we, you know, this time of year, you've got the winter solstice that has taken place. You, you have uh, the days begin longer. Uh, we have this, anything that you come across, anything. This is your alarm, it's your flag, okay? That you hear that is instigating doom and gloom. Do not give any energy to it. And there's gonna be a lot of it. And it's meant to stir up the civilization and to believe in something that doesn't, that isn't, to create it into it being. So that's what this is all about. It's always been that way. And I think we all know that we are much more aware of this ploy that is perpetrated on civilization. It's, you know, get them whipped up and angry and stressful and, and, uh, and then start throwing doom and gloom into it and, you know, and then they start believing it and then they'll create it, okay? You got billions of gods that, you, that have tremendous power and you're, you're, you're saying, well, all we gotta do is this, this, and this, and they'll create it for us. And that's usually what's happened, about 99.9% .9 of the time. So we just stay focused on our, the now, and we do not deviate, like going to the future, or going into the past is very important because the ego mind is so crafty that it will trick you at every corner. But we're aware of that, then we'll be able to negate every corner and move into a deep eternal love, peace, and joy, and bliss without this, uh, this little, you know, nick, 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 like a woodpecker on a, on a tree where the ego mind keeps picking at you, picking at you. And then you start believing things. And then you start creating things. You become cynical. And you, you know, you, you don't trust anybody. And you, you're believing that, you know, hey, you know, there's something. And it, the ego mind is so subtle with it that it just whips you right up and pulls you right in. And before long, you're thinking everything is not good. And something bad's gonna happen. And you know, on and on. And people aren't being honest. And, it's just, it's, it is a constant that they play on the civil.
civilization. They use and manipulate the ego mind of people. When we are in command, when we are the masters, then we direct, we engage, not something external. So, when we get to this incessant, under, when we understand it, that is empowering. It's not like we're combating it or trying to um, instigate a, a battle. Uh, you know, we're not, we're, we're, we're addressing it and embracing it, and then we're dismissing it. You see what I mean? It's very crucial because when we do this, sometimes we get irritated and we attack it, and then we get frustrated with ourselves. Why did I do that, and why did I fall for that? Why did I allow my ego mind to take me there? Okay? And then that's, that's the danger, that's like the overflow where we, we jump into it. You know? And then we start really, and we, you know, we, we catch ourselves, but we think we're catching ourselves, but then we go even, we slip more. Say, because we've started the ball rolling and we started creating more and these more thoughts come in because they're, they don't stop. They're just just, just just machine gunning us. And so we grab this one and we grab that one and the next thing you know, we're right in there, right into the, the, the dark frequencies and basically saying, ah, oh, you know, this is, this is not right, this is not work. And, you know, what are they up to and who's this doing it? And, and, you know, they, they, and it's just, it, it totally negates any positive uplifting frequencies. And now you know how you feel? Because we've all experienced it in this life. You feel kind of dank or spent when, it, when you, you know, you're know you kind of finishing up with it. And, and it takes a while, uh, a few days to recover from it. A lot of us don't know that, but then we start getting more clear and we start saying, wow, uh, this is, uh, uh, this has really drained me, you know, and this is why, this is why I feel this way. Now, flip it and, and look what happens when you're clear and you move the, this, the whole uh, of the coming, the, the frequency coming in. And you, you move over to deep eternal love and deep gratitude. And you kind of just chuckle. And the child within you chuckles. And your imagination expands. And you, you kind of go, wow, this is really uh, a riot. Yeah, you know, I, I, I could have embraced that thought. I could have turned it into a reality. It could have ushered in fear, anxiety, stress, depression. I could have done all that, but I chose not to. And that's where it begins. See, that's where you start to understand that I am the master. I am the commander of my lightship. Nothing else. It's all with me. And it is. It's all with each of us. So when we, but the empowering part of that is that we recognize it on our own. And you know what that means? It means that we are taking command. It's, it's offered to us all the time. And when we take the command and we have the mastership of our lightship, that stuff that, that comes at all of us, it doesn't take hold. It kind of, yeah, okay, so kind of you get a little miffy and you say, oh, and then it fades out because we're not there. We don't choose to put ourselves in those low frequencies. We just don't. And it's not like we, and, and another thing that dissipates from all of us is guilt. You ever notice that you feel what little things that, that we invite with ourselves. And then, you know, we have that guilt thing that comes in and the, and the low confidence and, the, and, and that uneasy feeling. You're going, what is that? Why am I feeling this way? It is the ego mind 
stirring the heart mind. That's why you feel that way. Okay? And it is so tricky because it, it's so well done that you can be tricked into embracing it. And what happens when you embrace it? You go, oh, see, I know something's wrong. And then as you embrace it, you go, mind keeps giving you, feeding you a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then you start creating something that was never there. I will tell you this, when you assume, when you assume, or when you think, you start thinking and dissecting and, you know, and interjecting things uh, about something, you start to create cynicism, skepticism, and then you configure a whole uh, array, a whole arena of what you have determined is going on. Only what you have determined, see? And then the ego mind comes in and it, it solidifies it for you. And you go, aha, I know I'm right. And about 99% of the time, you're completely wrong. Happens all the time to us. And you say, well, I thought this and I, I thought that. And it, it's like when people gossip, you know, they're on the phone, they're gossiping, and they're talking, or they're in person, and they're, 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 they're detecting them, and they're thinking, and the ego mind is, is shooting these thoughts at them, and they're sitting here, and they're saying that, and they're saying this. And they have configured a whole menagerie of what they think is occurring, and they're wrong. And this is what, this is, uh, totally tells us what has happened, is that the ego mind has interjected this thought process to us, which has then taken over the heart mind, which then turns up the emotional aspects, and then we begin to fall into lower and lower frequencies as we develop and construct total nonsense. Right? People say, well, yeah, sometimes you're right. That's different. Because if it's coming from the chest, the heart mind, it's different. But if a company wants a gut feeling, say, here people say it's a gut feeling. I just have a gut feeling. It is the ego mind dictating to the heart mind, causing the heart mind to get uh, irritated, and then you have the sinking in the stomach, or you have this old, oh, this wave that comes over you. That's what's happening. And it tricks you into believing, and therefore you create it. Say? But if you go with the flow, literally go with the flow, stay in the now, and stay in deep gratitude and deep love, it'll just fly by. You, you won't even step into the muck. And you'll say to yourself, these are just thoughts. Just thoughts. And the thoughts, if you know, remember, when we are not the master and commander and the evil mind is ruling us, those thoughts are what cause the turmoil in our lives. That's what happens. That's how everything unfolds in our lives. We create everything. And people say, well, you know, there's some things in life that, uh, that just surprise you. Uh-uh. We create everything. There's no happenstance, you know? And, and once we fully embrace who we are and what we are, we all understand that with appreciation, gratitude, and we'll understand that process. And so we won't, we won't entertain it. You see how you can even feel the frequency as it increases, as I share this with you, because it is so empowering for who and what you are. And this meditation is just thoughts, period. And the more we understand that, without anger, without confusion, the more we master, see? And the more uplifting we get, and the more our frequencies increase, and the more, and we, the more we stay deeper, 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 in the highest gratitudes because 
we know. We don't guess, we don't assume, we know. And it's part and it's also surrendering to the God you are. Letting go. See, because the ego mind wants, 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 wants. It never it's relentless. It's just that's not you get more. Get this, get that, get this, get this, get this, get this, get this. Gotta have this, gotta have that, 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 that. And as we do it, we little we literally diminish ourselves. We pull ourselves into more and more discouragement and negativity because of the low frequencies. Anger, guilt, pain, frustration, uh, stress, it's all low frequency. And we, we do it. We do it. And, and being prepared, being understanding of the love that you are, and, to, and being kind and gentle to yourself really helps a lot, see? So when this stuff whizzes by and slaps you upside the face, says, hey, you know, embrace me, turn me into a reality, you'll just sit there and smile and go, no, that's not going to happen. These are all just thoughts. That's all they are. And I, I'm aware of that, so I'm not, and this is without ego. You're just, you know it. You're just, that's your confidence. Yeah. Uh, over the holidays here, I'm sure that some of you will have grandkids, you'll have your children, you'll have, and it'll be yelling and screaming and running and banging and all kinds of things. And uh, and then uh, relatives and some you don't like and some you don't want to be around and some you do and some you're embarrassed with. It's just on, on, on. These are all thoughts, period. And until we forgive ourselves and we surrender to the God within us, we will always be confronted with that uneasiness, that, that feeling that we're not, you know, it's, oh, I just, I feel, I feel off. I just, something's not right. And, you know, I don't know what it is. And, and then we immediately start dipping into the doom and gloom of the, the thoughts and the ego mind just shoots them at us. And, you know, how many people, you know, they'll, they'll go out and they overextend and they buy and then after it's all said and done, they worry. And then they're worrying while, during. And then they worry after, and they worry before, they worry during, and they worry after. And all these thoughts are being created. Okay? And the funny thing is, is that our worry is a thought. Remember that. Worry is a thought created and put into emotion. It's the ego mind talking to the heart mind, not vice versa. And so the worry is just a thought. And that's one, one instance there where you, you realize that most of the things you worry about never come to pass because it's not an enacted thought. It is a thought that you're walking with. You have not created into a reality. It's just different. So when that comes in, you have that the worry thought. It's just a worry that generates. It kind of stays there. It really doesn't get much further than that. And then we find out that it never happened. Because at the same time, we're also saying, I really don't care for that to happen. But you still worry. But you counteract it by saying, I really don't care for that to happen. You never say, I do not want. When you say, I do not want, you will get. And people said, well, then if I say I do not want millions, I'll get them. It doesn't know. We're not talking about that. This is in a low frequency. So you when you when you send I do not want as it's a low frequency, it will uh, the universe will send it to you. And it's confusing some people. So when you say I don't care to uh, have that, I don't care uh, to entertain that. And it's real hard for us to do that because we're so used to saying, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. We're so used to saying that. That even when you're coached uh, by someone, even when you're being saying, you, you know, you know, don't you say, I don't, I, I don't care to have that. I don't care to involve myself with that. That's different, and it feels different, and you know it feels different because you can say it to yourself. You can say, you, 
you don't want, you can say, I don't care to, and you'll feel the difference. You'll feel the frequency difference between the two of them. See? And our words are frequencies. And everything is a frequency. So, just thoughts. Uh, if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure we all are. First thing we want to do is we want to relax our bodies from head to toe, inside and out. Just lean back, surrender to the God within, and just surrender. Let go of everything. Everything. In your heart. Just let it go. Watch the body respond. The body will say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And you just, you don't care. It's, it's, it's not like, oh, I can't, you know, oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep this box or, oh, no, I, what am I going to do if I lose everything? It's, it, you just, it's, when you do that, you will have more than you could ever imagine. And that's the truth. But you have, you must do it through the heart mind and not the ego mind. Say, two big differences. She relax the body and we move into the now. And really, the now is all that we have. It's all that we've ever had. You have the past, you have the future, and you have the now. And everything happens in the now. You see, you probably know people, maybe you've done it yourself, you go into the past, you reminisce, you pick things up, you pull them into the future. And the next thing you know, you're, you, you, you move into your future because tomorrow's the future, say. Ten minutes from now is the future. So as, as you do this, you create your future from the past. Really not a good thing because then you find yourself redundantly repeating things in different ways as you go into your future. See? The future, the future is uh, uh, the next second, the next minute, the next hour. So everything you do is in the now. All of it happens in the now. So right now you're creating your future by in this now, right at this moment. Being in the now also stills the mind, stills the ego mind, stills the subconscious mind. It eliminates that incessant chatter that we get. Some of it is created through tinnitus, where it's the ringing vibrational frequency in the inner ear. You know? Some of us have other uh, signs that try to you know, make us aware. So as we still the mind, and we still the ego mind and subconscious mind, we also want to breathe. And when we breathe, we breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And in, in, in the count of three seconds, we say, I am love, I am light, I am. That's three seconds. If you don't say it with your mouth because you breath in and you hold it by saying, I am love, I am light, I am. I am love, I am light, I am. And one of our brothers, Glenn, suggested that and I it vibrated as frequency was right on. So Thank you, Glenn. So we want to do this about six times while I'm talking. And you want to just easy, just pull it in through the nose, breath it in, and then breath it out. I am love, I am light, I am. And as we breath in, we're breathing in divine positive energy. It's the high frequency. It is what we are. It's our essence of the deep eternal love that we were created from true source creation. And we are everything. And the... 
divine positive energy, collective consciousness of this planet, Earth, Gaia. Collective consciousness, the universe. The all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. Source creation, Mother, Father, God, Prime Source, Creator, God, our family, all of us gods. And all we, when we enter physical form, we begin to realize, and we then master the fact and understanding, is that whatever is thrown at us from ego mind are just thoughts, just thoughts. That's it. It is up to us to differentiate between the low frequencies and the high. Just thoughts. As we as we breath out through the mouth, we again it's it's automatic. We know it. Is that the the ego mind it comes in subconscious mind and says, well, you you know, you're fine. You're doing all right. Don't worry about all this stuff. Don't go into it, you know. And by saying that to you, what do you do? A lot of us begin to worry. And stress and fear. Fear is just a thought. We create the rest. It is derived from that thought that we embrace. Literally, there are so many thoughts that we embrace and once we are cognizant, clear, conscious about what is happening, everything shifts. Your direction, your frequency, much higher. Your bliss, much more. Your joy, much more. Now, we are with the heart-mind. This is where our command center is while we're in these bodies and we are with the kingdom of God of which we are we are the God we are the kingdom of God we are the mind of God we are the heart of God And, and it's, it, it's just so wonderful and amazing and uplifting. You know, the archangels are with us all the time. The cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all the angels, they, they vibrate at a different frequency than we do. So we're not in sync of actually physically seeing them, feel them, we can smell them, we can sense them. Uh, sometimes we meet them, but depending on where our thoughts are, where our heart mind is depends on whether or not we communicate with them in person. But they don't appear with wings. So, um, they're of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. There are trillions of them. And they're in the deepest of gratitudes. And they're with us, they've been with us from the beginning. And they're joined with us. Descended masters, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, Saint Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Amoria, Abundantia, Thoth, Hell, many, many, many more. They are gods who have ascended out of their physical bodies. We are gods who have ascended into physical bodies. You see the difference? The mastering is to understand and be in command through the heart-mind while you're in the body. See? That's the master. Ascended masters. Ascended means leaving the body. All right? Masters means that they were in the body, they were able to master the emotions, understand consciously and clearly and they literally surrendered to their gods and they mastered and they ascended ascended masters we are gods in the body mastering okay there's the difference and they are of the highest
highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love. The archangels, the, the center master is because it's the frequency. If they aren't, they won't be with us. And all of them know that too. Just like we do. So all of us come together and we arm in arm, hand in hand, we immediately form a circle of light, halo around the equator of planet Earth, Gaia. She's resting. So the light is a frequency of source creation, this deep eternal love. It is all that there is. But what we have when we see negatives and uh, low frequencies is love under pressure. When you get angry, love under pressure. When you get cynical, love under pressure. And because when you embrace love and you surrender into the God that you are, you don't have love under pressure. You have the opposite. Love under, beyond, over. So, as we do this, we begin to levitate up, float up, and we move outside of our bodies. This is part of mastering. Move outside the body. You're, you're still with the body, but you move outside the body. And as we do this, we encase this planet in a perfect sphere, all of us. Perfect spheres made up of the highest of highest high frequencies. And the emerald green flaming healing light of our interaction the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael, the violet ray, the purple transmuting flame. The golden white pink eternal love. We have all of these frequencies that we are all of. And we hold the highest high with source creation of deep eternal love. And any low frequency, any dark matter frequency cannot be there. They cannot affect us. They cannot breach the barrier they fall away because of such a high frequency that they cannot maintain. It's no different than, than us trying in these bodies, trying to exist in these bodies in a six density, six dimension. We would, these bodies would explode, they would disintegrate because of their frequency. So as we continue to elevate, levitate, we immediately call out just the other facets, the other parts of source creation. All of the light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, peace, tranquility, happiness, generosity, humbleness, benevolence, non-judging, non-ego, stillness of mind. And they come, and they come in the Google Plexus and they fill dozens of universes. Or 
arm, hand in hand. They are with us. They join us in the circle of life, in this meditation, in this now. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, the Garta, beneath earth. All of these civilizations, and only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of life. This meditation is gravitating higher and higher from a global mass meditation to a universe mass meditation. All together, all one, all love. And our gods were their gods, their gods were ours. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. You're all one, you're all love, you're all together. And our god light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon the off-worlders, galactics, galaxy civilizations. And there are many. And the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Andromedans, the Arcturians, Pleiadians, Syrians, all of them. Many, many, many. They've been assisting us in our evolution. They've been assisting us in our enlightenment, our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage our own self-imposed slavery. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of life. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, stillness of mind, peace, bliss, joy, kindness, generosity, humbleness, tranquil and benevolent, and they join us in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation, their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest, the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one. We are all love. Our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon our loved ones. All of those who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've been having. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. They are in full compassion and non judgment. They are non-ego. They are in peace, tranquility, stillness of mind, bliss. Non, non, non non-ego. They come arm in arm, hand in hand. They join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. 
that we are all one, we are all love, and our God light energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia, at this now, at this circle of light, this meditation. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this now, in this circle of light. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego. Kindness, generosity, humbleness, tranquil, benevolent. And they come in the trillions, shapes, sizes, forms, configurations, unlike anything we have ever seen. And they join us, arm in arm, hand in hand, in this circle of light, in this now, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all love, and our God light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond, and forever. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. We created this sphere. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds and hundreds of meditations in perpetual motion. Of the highest of high, high frequencies of deep eternal love and the deepest, deepest, deepest of the highest gratitudes. They can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. You can feel it as it floods all of us. Our physical bodies inside and out, head to toe, our etheric God body, saturating everything. We feel it as we surrender to the God within. We also understand that our ego minds, while in these bodies, are just thoughts. And we are the masters and commanders. We are the masters in the body. We are the God. We are the kingdom of God. So we're aware. The ego mind becomes the child. The heart mind becomes the parent. Understand that. The ego mind becomes the child. The heart mind becomes the parent. This is the mastership of the body. The child flourishes, is loved, nurtured, and expanded through the imagination within. Heart mind governs, cares for, loves, supports, protects, guides, teaches the ego mind. We look down upon this planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters. We feel them, all life. Earth Gaia herself as she rests. All life, highest value in the universe. And they too will learn and master. And they too will 
understand that, that all that they experience are just thoughts that they create into reality. Just thoughts. They too, in turn, will learn how to be the heart mind as the parent of the ego mind, the child. I join you in the meditation and return to close this out.
knowing that they are just thoughts frees us from the tyranny of the ego mind. We love the ego mind. We understand the ego mind. And through the heart mind, we become the parent of the ego mind, which is the child. Watch how things will shift. We're, we are expanding in many different directions with this understanding. We become the nurturers, the caretakers, gentle, kind, peaceful. We nurture the child. Its imagination becomes front and center. As this goes, the ego then begins to dissipate. And then we gain confidence without the ego. And then we gain mastership over the ego. And then we can direct thoughts at will. And we can embrace those we wish to with full clarity, understanding, and consciousness. Because we are the kingdom of God. We are the God. We are the heart of God, the mind of God. We surrender to our God. Take this with you the rest of the day into the evening and night and the following morning. We will be back here December 23rd, 2019, Monday, 3 p.m.